Hi everyone, my name is Dan and I'm a mental health pharmacist and today I'm going to be talking about the supplement 5-HTP for the treatment of depression. So first I'm going to start with the background, then I'll go into the mechanism of action, so how it works for depression, then the dosing, uh, effectiveness, safety, some interactions, some side effects, and then my experience with trying it for myself. Most prescription antidepressants work by increasing the effects of serotonin. 5-HTP is converted by the body into serotonin, so it's working along the same vein of the serotonin route, but in a different way than prescription antidepressants. 5-HTP is isolated commercially from a shrub that grows in West Africa. The plant is called Griffonia simplicifolia and it was used traditionally to treat various ailments but they found that in the seeds that are these large flat black discs that kind of look like big lentils that there was a high amount of 5-HTP. 5-HTP works by increasing the production of serotonin. 5-HTP gives your body the building blocks and then your body does the rest. The entire pathway starts with L-tryptophan so when you eat protein in your diet, it's broken down into amino acids, and one of those is L-tryptophan. Your body then normally converts that into 5-HTP, and then your body converts the 5-HTP into serotonin. By giving 5-HTP, the body is able to make more serotonin, which then can bind to receptors and produce its effect, which um, hopefully in some cases is decreasing the symptoms of depression. So then you might ask, why don't we just give serotonin itself to treat depression? And the reason that we don't just give serotonin is that it's not able to cross the blood-brain barrier. So your brain has a particular barrier around it to protect it from harmful substances getting in. Um, in this case, it also prevents serotonin from getting in directly to the brain. So your body is able to ingest 5-HTP, um, send it through the blood-brain barrier, and then convert it to serotonin once it's already passed. And it's similar for L-tryptophan as well. So that can cross the blood-brain barrier, but not as well as 5-HTP. And it's one further step back in the process of being made into serotonin. So generally, 5-HTP is deemed as slightly higher quality than L-tryptophan in treating depression. The general dosing for depression is 150 milligrams to 800 milligrams daily. Um, one study used 400 milligrams for up to a year, so um, in general it should be safe for up to a year at that within that dosing. Um, one study I found actually used an extremely large dose of 3 grams daily for a shorter period of time. Just like most things when dosing, you generally start on the lower end, see how your body reacts, see if you have any side effects, and then increase from there. To look at the effectiveness, I found a trial out of India where 5-HTP was compared directly to the antidepressant fluoxetine, which is the brand name, which has the pro, brand name of Prozac. In this trial, they separated the patients into two groups, and the first group started with 5-HTP, they started with 50 milligrams three times a day. After two weeks, they increased to 100 milligrams three times a day. And two weeks later, they finally increased to a total daily dose of 400 milligrams. In the fluoxetine dose group, they started with 20 milligrams daily. After two weeks, increased to 30 milligrams daily. And after two weeks, um, increased to 40 milligrams daily. If you're familiar with fluoxetine, you'll know that it's generally given only once a day. So what they did to keep this trial blinded is they made the fluoxetine patients take two placebo pills. So regardless, each group was taking three um, pills daily. They looked at um, response with a depression scale. So response is defined as a 50% decrease in your depression score. They found that 73% of the 5-HTP group reached response and 80% of the fluoxetine group reach response. So both had pretty, um, a pretty nice decrease in depression uh, with the fluoxetine winning by 7%.
Additionally, I found a meta-analysis, so that's when they take a bunch of different trials and group them into one trial to collect all the evidence into one easy-to-read source. Um, that was looking at 5-HTP for depression. They found 100, 108 trials, but unfortunately only two of the trials were deemed high enough quality to include in the meta-analysis. They found potentially favoring evidence over placebo, but Due to, due to the lack of high quality evidence in a lot of trials, um, the trial wasn't able to conclude that 5-HTP is likely effective for depression. So basically they said, we need more evidence. Um, it may be beating out placebo at this point, but we still need that more evidence at this point. 5-HTP is considered possibly safe by natural medicines database when used orally and appropriately. There are some concerns that 5-HTP may be um, linked with eosinophilia myalgia syndrome. Um, that's an incurable and serious neurologic condition. There was a big outbreak in the late 80s and early 90s linked to 5-HTP, but it all came back to one generic um, over-the-counter producer of the medication, and it was thought that it may be due to a contaminant in the source, so it wasn't found from all different products of 5-HTP, just this one manufacturer. Regardless, that's a pretty obviously serious and scary side effect to think about, but overall it's deemed possibly safe at this point. There are certain medications that interact with 5-HTP. So 5-HTP is a precursor to serotonin, so other prescription medications that work on serotonin would potentially interact. Um, it's not recommended to take antidepressant medications with 5-HTP because the effects of serotonin can be too much. There's also an interaction with carbidopa, so that's a medication um, that can prevent the peripheral metabolism of 5-HTP, so it can again increase the effects, and then medications that are CNS depressants. So 5-HTP can make people drowsy and sleepy, so adding that on top of something that already makes you drowsy and sleepy could lead to falls and other risks. 5-HTP is generally well tolerated. Most of the side effects were GI, which stands for gastrointestinal, so nausea, vomiting, um, stomach pain, anorexia. There's also that controversy that I brought up, brought up before with the eosinophilia myalgia syndrome, may have been linked with a contaminant, but there's still some um, hesitancy with uh, that product and that side effect. There are some additional important pieces of information to know with 5-HTP. So one trial that I looked at uh, determined that 5-HTP may deplete dopamine over time, which would be a bad thing for depression. So the theory in the, the article I was reading was saying that the body likes to balance precursors to serotonin and dopamine. So by giving a precursor to serotonin, your body decreases the production of dopamine. Also in the pathway of L-tryptophan to 5-HTP to serotonin, the next step is actually melatonin. So uh, melatonin is a sleep hormone. Um, it's produced naturally in the body, but it can be purchased at stores as well. So 5-HTP may make people sleepy as well. Finally, uh, I just wanted to talk about my experience in trying 5-HTP. So I started with 100 milligrams at night. Um, I didn't notice any immediate effects after taking the capsule. Um, it had a white powdery look inside. There was a slight smell to it, but I couldn't place where the smell was from. I did notice an effect by the first night though when I went to sleep. Um, I had really vivid dreams the first night of taking it. So I know that this is a side effect from other antidepressant medications, so I wasn't um, overtly concerned and it wasn't a negative experience really, just abnormal and different for me. By the third night, I was still having really abnormal dreams, um, like Alice in Wonderland landscapes. Uh, I woke up and thought my cat was like kicking me and looked at him and his ears were rotating back and forth, and I'm still not sure if that was a dream or if that actually happened. Um, I also noticed some like spaciness in my thoughts. So I was at work and it was the middle of the day and I was thinking, man, I didn't do anything today. 
And then when I actually sat back and reflected and looked at all the things I did, I did, I actually got quite a bit done. So I felt a little odd there. Um, after about 10 days, I did notice some improvements in like anxiety and overthinking things. So I was sh um, shadowing with a doctor and he was doing uh, like regular doctor things, but stuff that would get me worked up otherwise. He was like cutting really thick toenails and gave a deep knee injection and other things that can kind of make you a little squeamish. But, and he was asking me questions in front of the patients as well. And I didn't know some of them, which is fine and that happens, but normally I would get worked up after the fact and I was, I kind of just accepted it. So I did notice my overthinking was quelled a little bit. The final effect that I wanted to talk about is that I was really tired when I was taking the medication. So it makes sense that it's converted into serotonin, which is then converted into melatonin because I would take it um, at bedtime and I would not be able to wake up in the morning. I would hit snooze, 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 and skip the gym every morning and uh, wake up to the last alarm before I would definitely be wait late for work. So that was a little troublesome for me. Um, the final component is that I did want to still give it a try. So I ended up decreased, or, sorry, increasing the dose eventually to up to 100 milligrams three times a day. I didn't notice any additional benefits and I was still having those um, trouble getting up in the morning. Um, I then slowly, fairly slowly tapered off the product and my energy levels quickly returned back to normal where I could get up in the morning, go to the gym, wasn't hitting snooze over and over. Um, was able to get to work on time. So I hope that brief overview of 5-HTP, um, the mechanism, some of the side effects, um, my personal experience with it was helpful for you, and thank you for watching.